is a set? What is a set? A set is a well-defined collection of objects. What is a set? A set is a well-defined collection of objects. Well-defined collection of objects. What is the meaning of well-defined collection of distinct objects? Well-defined collection of distinct objects. What is the meaning of well-defined collection? Okay. Well-defined collection means the numbers in the set will share a common rule. Will share the common property. That is called well-defined collection. For example, if you write, if I say you write set of prime numbers. Already isn't the word set we we'll write set of natural numbers, set of whole numbers, set of integers, set of rational numbers. So we use the word so many times set. For example, if I say to write set of first five prime numbers. Okay. Set of first five prime numbers. So what you will do to write set of first five prime numbers? First, what are the first five prime numbers? Two, three, five, seven. 11. These are the first five prime numbers. Okay. So, how to write this one in set? These are the numbers. What are these? These are the first five prime numbers. These numbers are enclosed in the flower brackets. These are flower brackets. Okay. Or curly brackets. The numbers inside the curly brackets are called, these are called elements. What are these? These are called 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. Are called elements of the set. These numbers are called elements of the set. The elements of the set are separated by commas. Every time, each and every element is separated by commas. Okay, well defined collection of distinct objects. Distinct means what? Different. The elements in the set should not be repeated again. That means, if 2 is there, again you should not write 2 second time. That means the number should not be occurred second time. Okay, only once we have to write. 3, only one time. 5, only one time. Second time you should not write 5 times. What do you understand? What is a set? A set is a well-defined collection of objects. The elements in the, the numbers which are written inside the set are called elements of the set. The numbers, the elements of the set are enclosed in curly brackets. Here, what, how to write the name of the set? Here we are writing the prime numbers. Prime numbers are denoted by P. For example, if I keep P. So this is called name of the set. Name of the set. Very easy chapter this one. Every time the name of the set is represented with capital letter. Upper case letter. We should use only capital letter to represent the name of the set. We should not use small letter. Did you understand? What is a set? A set is a well-defined collection of distinct objects. What is the meaning of well-defined collection of distinct objects? Well-defined collection of distinct objects means they will share a common property. They will share a common rule. Okay. Now, If I say you to write set of first six even numbers, first what I told you have to write the name of the set, represent the name of the set with capital letter E. Open the bracket, flower bracket. What is the first even number? Two. Each and every element is separated with the commas. Next, 4. Next, 6. 8. 10. Total how many I told? 12. Total I told 6 even numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And you close the bracket. Did you understand? What is a set? A set is a well-defined collection of distinct objects. The set is always, the name of the set is always represented with uppercase letter. It means capital letter. The elements of the set are enclosed in 
the elements of the set are separated by commas did you understand here what they are sharing i told they are sharing a common property what they are sharing it is an even number it is an even number this is an even number this is an even number this one is also an even number this one is also an even number they are all sharing the common property that they are all even numbers that is called well defined collection of distinct objects did you understand what are the rules how to write a set did you understand next now write the set of first five negative integers first five negative integers okay how to write you write z is equal to represent the set of name of the set with capital letter they ask you to write first five negative integers what are the first five negative integers minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 they ask for only five after that close the bracket what are the rules of writing the set do you understand the set is always represented with a capital letter the elements of the set are separated by commas the elements of the set are enclosed in are enclosed in the elements are enclosed in curly brackets okay and the elements should be distinct distinct means they should not be repeated again for example different if you write if i say you to write you will see one example Association, association, actually what you will do, you will write A, you have to keep the name of the set A is equal to, you will write the letters of the word association, what are the letters A, S, S, O, C, I, A, T, I, O, N. These are the letters of the word association. Okay. Now you see here what I told. In the set, elements should not be repeated. Okay. So here A. A. How many times it is there? Two times it is there. You have to write only one. It should not be repeated again. Yes. Two times it is there. Write only one time. O it occurs two times. Write only one time. C write only one time. I two times it is there. One time. A already completed. T only one time it is there. Write one time. I two times it is there. Write one time. O already completed. Y. Yes. So this is the set of letters of the word association. Did you understand what I told? A set is a well-defined collection of distinct objects. The elements in the set are enclosed in curly brackets. The numbers in the set are called elements of the set. The elements are always separated by commas. The set is always represented with capital letter. In the set, the elements should not be repeated. Okay. Now. Elements of the set is represented in two methods. What are the two methods? First one, in two forms. What are the two forms? Roster form, and the second one is set builder form. Listing method. Listing method. 
method. And here, separator form is also known as rule method. So, elements of the set is represented in these two forms. What are the two forms? Roaster form and separator form. Roaster form is also known as listing method and separator form is also known as rule method. Okay. First of all, what is roaster form? Roaster form means what we wrote up to now that is roaster form. For example, I wrote a is equal to set of first five odd numbers. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. This is called roster form. That means we will directly list the elements in the set. That is called roster form. Okay. That's why this is called listing method. Listing method means the elements are directly listed in the set. So this is called roster form. Up to now what we wrote all are roster forms only. Okay. Next Is another example of writing the set in roster form. Write the set of first five whole numbers. First five whole numbers. So, whole numbers are represented with capital W. Open bracket. They ask me to write first five whole numbers. What are the first five whole numbers? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, completed. Total five whole numbers are there. So, this is called roster form. Roster form means we will directly write the elements of the set. Okay. Next, we will go to set builder form. So, already we have roster form. Then, why we are using the set builder form? Now, if I ask you to write, write. The whole numbers, write the set of whole numbers, write the set of whole numbers from 0 to 10,000. Okay? Write the set of whole numbers from 0 to 10,000. Is it possible? This one in the roster form. Can you write all the elements in roster form? 0 to 10,000, 0, 1, 2, 3. So it is time consuming. Okay. So if we write 0 to 10,000, we can write. But it is time consuming. So for that purpose, they will give a set builder form. So how to write this one in set builder form? In set builder form, we have condition will be there. One rule will be there. That's why it is also called rule method. So, how to write this one in set builder form? For example, if I keep W is equal to X such that X such that X is a whole number X is a whole number Less than R equal to 10,000. That means here we are writing the condition. What is W? W is the name of the set. We have to represent in capital letter. X such that. What is X? X is a whole number. That means you take X any whole number. That means I am taking just a, I will try to write this one in roster form. X is a whole number. Less than or equal to 10,000. That means you take x is a whole number. That means whole number starts from 0 onwards. 0, 1, 2, 3, so on. Up to where you have to take less than 10,000 or equal to 10,000. That means up to you have to take 10,000, not more than 10,000. Last number will be 10,000. That means we will write 0, 1, 2, 3, so on, so on means all numbers, last number is 10,000. Did you understand? That's why for this roster method will be time consuming. That's why we will use a set builder form. Otherwise we can write x such that x is a whole number greater than less than 10,001. Less than 10,001 means what? Up to 10,001 before you have to take. Otherwise you can write so many methods are there. x such that x is a whole number X is a whole number 
less than 
less than 20. This is a separated form because here we have one condition. Condition is given. X such that X this is such that X is such that X is a prime number. X is the element of the set. Which element you have to take? X is a prime number. Prime numbers you have to take. Up to where you have to take? Less than 20 we have to take. So this is set builder form. Now how to convert set builder form to roasted form? Now I am converting the set builder form to roasted form. Same we have to write the name of the set as it is. Open the bracket. X is a prime number. Write the prime numbers. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19. We have to stop here because less than 20. Because 19 after we have 23. 23 is greater than 20. That's why we have to write up to 19. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19. Okay, how many elements are there in the set? There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 elements are there in the set. Okay. Next. So the elements you write, that is called cardinal number. Number of elements in the set is called cardinal number. So here, n of a, you represent cardinal number as n of a. That means number of elements in set a. How many elements are there in set a? 8 elements are there. Don't keep a number of elements like this. Then again it becomes a set. We are not writing the set. We are writing number of elements in the set. How many elements are there in the set? There are 8 elements in the set. So the cardinal number of set A is 8. So I have to write like this. N of A. That means number of elements in set A is 8. Next another example you see how to convert it. B is equal to X such that X is a natural number. Okay. Here there is not be any condition for us. They told that you write X is a natural number. Natural numbers means what? You will write B is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. Completed. Because condition is not given, you can keep so on. Did you understand if condition is not given, you can write like this. If condition is given, you have to write up to where the condition is given, up to there you have to write. Next, last and final. M is equal to X such that X belongs to Z. Otherwise, always you need to take only x you can take y. Y such that y belongs to z and minus 2 less than or equal to y less than or equal to 4. So like this also conditions will be given. Okay. First of all, what is y? Y such that first you write m m as it is. Y such that y belongs to z. Z means what? Integers. Minus 2 less than or equal to y. Already I told you how to convert minus 2 less than or equal to y. Y you transpose to this side, minus 2 you transpose to this side. Y minus 2. Whenever we are transposing y to this side and minus 2 to this side, less than becomes greater than or equal to 2. Equal to will be equal to only. And what they are saying? y is less than or equal to 4. y should be less than 4 or equal to 4. y greater than minus 2. Greater than minus 2 which integers are there? We have to take equal to minus 2 also because y greater than or equal to minus 2. That means minus 2 minus 2 greater than minus 2. Greater than minus 2 which numbers are there? Minus 1. Minus 1 is greater than minus 2. Okay. Next is 0. 0 is greater than minus 2. Next we have to take 1. 1 is greater than minus 2. Next to 2. 2 is greater than minus 2. 3. 3 is greater than minus 2. And here they are saying y less than or equal to 4. Less than or equal to 4 means we have to take up to less than 4 and equal to 4 also we have to take. So I take 4 also because they get equal to 4. If they not give equal to 4, we should not take. If they give only y less than 4, we have to take up to 3. Okay. So, what are the elements? Minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. These are the elements of the set. Now, what is the cardinal number of m? That means number of elements in set m. Number of 
elements in set M. How many elements are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I have to write only 7. Don't keep it the set symbol. Don't keep the brackets. Okay. Next. If I say A such that A is the natural number. A is the natural number. Less than 1. Now write the set. What is A? A is the natural number less than 1. Do you have any natural number less than 1? No, because natural number starts from 1. So we don't have any natural number less than 1. So what you write now? M is equal to any elements are not there because natural number starts from 1. These are natural numbers. Here which numbers are less than 1? So there is no element which is less than 1. So what we have to write? If anything is not there, you have to write like this. You have to give like this. Don't write any element in the set. Okay. So otherwise, R, we can write, if any element is not there, we can write 5. This is 5. Okay. We can write like this. Now you say, what is the cardinal number of M? That means number of elements in M. How many elements are there in set M? 0. Number of elements in set M is 0. This is different. Set 0 is different and this is different. This means, how many elements are there? 0. For example, if I say A such that A is the whole number less than 1. What is the whole number less than 1? 0. That means 0 is the element. The number of elements in the set is 1. Okay. Like this if you keep, there is one element in the set. If you keep like this, the 0 number of elements are there in the set. Okay. Now, whenever any elements are not there in the set, the type of sets are called empty sets. Empty means what? Nothing is there. Or void set. Void set. Empty set or void set or it is also called null set. Null. Null means nothing is there here. Okay. If any element is not there in that set, then the type of sets are called empty set or void set or null set. Otherwise, if the cardinal number of the set is 0, that means Cardinal number means what? Number
these are usually treated with that means these are the multiples of p okay what you have to write n is equal to a such that any variable you can take a is a multiple of 3 less than 15 less than 16 a is a multiple of 3 less than 16 that means you take the multiples of 3 3 1 3 3 2 6 3 3 9 3 4 4 3 5 16 what I get condition less than 16 so up to less than 16 only have to take the multiples okay next